Okay, so this is uh, my project. Uh, what we're going to do is start off by copying this first line. Um, start. We're going to name it Smart Blur. Um, as you can tell, we're going to go to Filter, Blur, and then go to Smart Blur, if you didn't guess. Um, I have it about set at the pixels I want. We've got to make sure it's on high quality. Um, if you can tell, it makes it a nice softer look. Um, so we hit OK. We're going to copy this line again and we're going to rename this one pencil lines and uh, what that we're going to do with this is um, go up again to filter uh, not sharpen sorry stylize and go to find edges so as you see we found the edge uh, we're going to take the opacity down to probably about uh, 70 percent and then we're going to hit control alt u um, to have the hue and saturation, we lighten it up and it kind of gives it those lines um, as you can see right along the stem and uh, so we go back, copy this again we're going to make this title brushes um, and this is where the actual watercolor look comes in um, so this is where you know we kind of get that look and feel so we're going to go over to the paintbrush oh first I almost forgot we need to invert it and control I and do color dodge. Now we go to the paintbrush and we're going up to the brushes and go set. I'm going to go ahead and reset these brushes. I'm um, just kind of put it at its default. Are in, in the short list. Um, if you need, don't know how to get there, it's at that gear as well. And I'm going to use the dry brush. So I'll make this a little larger. Um, we're going to put the opacity to 10%. Um, we're going to make this a little bigger and you kind of just put it over randomly across the whole um, whole image and you can see it has a little color show up. We're going back to that brush options and we're going to go down to uh, the water media brushes and we want this one here. It's the um, water texture and this is what's going to give us water uh, color texture. So I'm going to go across here. As you can see, um, it makes kind of a wet texture look to that watercolor look and it brings it out. And the more I go over, as you can see, like right there, it makes it darker. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just make this bigger and go across the whole thing. And that's what gives it kind of that water feel. Even though this, you know, started out as a photograph, we kind of give it a watercolor feel to it. Um, I'm going to just go across a couple more times. I'm going to actually, oh, you got to make sure it's on black. Uh, I had a problem with that earlier. I had it on 